glasses are fogged up too. Yeah, cool. It's kind of weird where somehow like the heat from my eyeballs just makes it not fog up in the circles. Anyways, um, so, uh, last one, we got to sketch this graph. And what I like to do with these is, um, I like to kind of put boxes around. It's, a, it's just way too much information for me to, to digest. Okay. So I kind of, oh, no. so what I want to do is I want to make the derivatives, first derivatives in one, and then the second derivatives in another, right? So um, that way I just split them off. And I can see right here that the, the first derivative equals zero here, and then it's positive there and negative here. So this is the basis of my first derivative chart. Then here's the second derivative. This is positive. That's negative. So this is the basis for my second derivative uh, chart. Now these are just kind of free points here. So this guy is just plain old f. So notice that don't try to like put this all in your head. Divvy it up. Okay. And just think, okay, first of all, you got to have some kind of free points here. So it passes through something that you know for sure. Okay. Let me actually minimize this. Okay, so let's go um, that f of 0 and f of 4 is 0. So f of 0, 0. Now I got to do this in pencil. I'm ready to make a mistake here. So I got to be real careful here. Uh, f of 4 is also 0. Okay, so definitely it's going to pass through here somehow. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my first derivative table so I can get an idea of where this guy is. Um, increasing and decreasing. That's like the fundamental part. So if x is greater than 2 and if x is less than 0, then this guy is positive. If he is in between 0 and 2, then that means he's negative. So this means the 0 and 2 are kind of my, my go-tos, um, my critical numbers, and then it means that at 0 and 2 is where it equals 0. So let's actually fill this out because we can actually uh, figure out where our maxes and mins are. So um, it's greater than 0 if it's greater than 2. So he is positive. So he'll be going up. Um, and if I'm less than 0, he will be positive. So he'll be going up. And then in between these guys, I will be going downwards. So this is down and negative, negative, negative. Okay. All right, cool. So it looks like here that my derivative is 0 at 0, and my derivative is 0 at 2. So here I have a max, okay, and then here I have a min. Cool. All right, so that happens there. And um, let's see, 2 and 0. Okay, so right here at this location is a max. So this guy means that I'm going to have a max right there. Okay. And that at 2, I'm going to have a min. All right. My guess is something like that. Okay. This could be anywhere, though. All right. So uh, I'm just going to, that's a, just a sketch. Okay. What I want to do now is I want to think of this double derivative here. Double derivative. Second derivative. I'm so tired. Oh boy. Okay, so um, now it's 1 and 4 is where it transfers. So it looks like 1 and 4. Um, it's going to be concave up in between 1 and 4. Okay. And then it'll be concave down the other locations. Okay. Okay, so with this information, we should be good to go. We are concave down up until 1. Okay, so 1, notice here that 
looks like right there at one it's kind of the bridge right where we kind of knew that this was a max we kind of knew that this was a min so this is where it transfers from concave down to concave up at one okay now this guy is going to be concave down for the rest of everything pat you know to the to the left of one so he's concave down and is that what we have yeah he's increasing as we go this way now i know that the, the arrow is downward but remember we're reading this to the right okay so then at two two is where we start to increase but at four is where we go concave down okay so at four so let's erase this a little bit it's gonna have a min okay so he's gonna have a min right there okay and he's gonna be concave up from one to four okay concave up from one to four now here is where he's going to do his transition now he's gonna keep increasing but he's gonna be this is an inflection point so he's gonna curve downwards okay but in no way does that have to imply a relative max or a min okay we can see that we got a little arc here to kind of show that he's concave down but there is no max or min and he's just gonna keep increasing okay so he's not gonna come back down he's just gonna keep increasing that way so uh, this guy was a this guy was a max and this guy was a min this was a point of inflection and yeah that's good all right um there's some variation that you could have had there but that's pretty much all that you got this guy this guy could have came down harder he could have come down a little i mean this is all possibilities here uh, maybe this guy came down a little bit steeper and then had the men okay but you know so we got all right that's it that's the review so um i think you uh, should be good for the test tomorrow